feeling it was going off. He went off past the past the engine, and this was making the engines cross. One morning, that nothing was feeling he was taking was taking going to Buzzball Express to Napa Station. When he stopped, but suddenly. Then he rushed in right beside him. Hello, big hello, green man. Fucking Bora, he told me nothing. This. Why would you Everything. He rushed forward and bumped straight into Thomas. Ow! cried Thomas. He was very cross, and now he was looking Dylan. Now look what you've done! Get back to work, you silly steamies! Laughed Danny. He was still chuckling. Just then, Percy had had enough. Quiet! He said sternly. Now look what you've done to my best friend, who made who who had bombed him. Then he just sneered and chugged and chugged away. Why the nerve of that streamlined engine! Whoop, shout, complained Percy. You have no idea," replied Thomas fuming. But Percy, however, was so sure. Meanwhile, Net Danny arrived and back up to go into, back up to his first coaches, and off he chugged. But then he he had a problem. The station master came out and talked to Net Danny's driver and fireman. We had to wait until Gordon arrived. He said, "We won't we won't stay we won't we 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 we'll just have to wait until he comes." Danny was cross. I can't wait," he laughed. "I'm an express engineer. Express engines don't wait." His trouble was was cross with Dil was with Danny. "You you can't you can't go yet. We just have to wait for Gordon." But soon, things were got were, were about to go wrong. Henry was at the other platform waiting to leave. The guard blues were so, 
and Danny pulled out of the station with all his passengers. But Danny ignored his crew were aware of this. Come on, come along, come along. Danny was Danny was so impatient leads to the coaches. Soon enough, Danny arrived and and was starting to go up the hill, but then he had a problem. Danny had run off diesel oil. Then there was another problem. Oh no, he cried, and he rolled all the way back down the hill. He didn't stop until he rolled all the way to the bottom and stopped. Danny wasn't the strongest engine anymore. Oh no, he cried. Now I should have waited for all those passengers on time. Just then, Gordon and Nelson came, and Nelson arrived on board with Tom Hat. He was very cross. Danny, said the fat controller, you have caused confusion and delay. You, have, you should have waited for your passengers, and you, ignored the, and you ignored the guard's whistle. I'm sorry, sir, replied Nelson sadly. He felt, he felt bad. Then the fat controller turned to Gordon. Would you please, would you, would you, will all the passengers will take care of Nelson's rights, sir? Will take all, all, now Danny's rights, sir? Asked Gordon. Of course they will. Please promised the Tom Hat, and he climbed on board Dylan's coach. Just as Gordon left, Nelson... Nelsa came to push Danny right up the hill with all of his passengers. I can't do it. I can't do it, huffed Danny. I hope you will. I hope you will, said, said Nelson. Soon, they came to the stop. Just then the coaches started to become troublesome. On, 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 they laughed. And with pain and buffers, they pushed Danny right down the hill. Poor Danny was getting out of control. I need to stop. I need to stop, he cried. On, on, faster, faster, yelled the coaches. Oh, fizzling fireboxes, cried Danny. How can I stop? But Strava had no idea. Then there was trouble. Danny had crashed right for the barrier which fell off the bridge and right for the book and right for the new bridge. But then, disasterly on the other side, there was a flatbed truck who was staying right there right here and there right here. Was was staying right right out round the tracks on Dylan. Dylan had no chance but pawn his brakes. It was too late. Help! cried cried Danny, and he and he crashed right through the flatbed, and also derailed. And then suddenly, one of his coaches derailed, and then, and fell and with crash, right down to the ground below. Same as the other coach fell and crashed right into the ground. And then suddenly, Danny. And with his flatbed truck was going were going down the ramp. So now the flatbed truck won't be able to stop Danny from going down the ramp. But then until it was too late again. Danny had no chance. He fell he fell off the ramp and crashed right into the ground. Poor Danny felt terrible. He knew it was all his fault. You stupid silver streamline engine, came a voice. It was his driver, came in out. He looked very cross. You look, Leo, you will won't make us crash. And now I'll go, look at all those passengers. They were sitting down, now they felt hurt, but luckily they won't hurt at all. 
Sorry, driver, moaned Danny sadly. He felt terrible. Just then, Nelson arrived with the breakdown train. And all of his passengers and Nelson came to help to help to help Danny back on the rails. It took a while for all those passengers and those coaches to to begin back up until afterwards Nelson pulled Danny right back right onto the flatbed. Oh thank you, thank you, Nelson, said Danny. I am so sorry I let all I let Gorn's express coaches derailed. That's okay, said Nelson. Are we still forming an alliance? Of course we are, replied Danny. I am so sorry about the accident earlier. It's okay, it's okay, Nelson. It's okay, Danny, replied Nelson. And sometimes, Will might be causing accidents, and and the fact that Joel would say he was not very impressed. Da Danny was still very ashamed, and, and with that, that, Nelson pulled Danny back home. Do 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 do